The Suicide Squad Movie Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to do a little movie review on The Suicide Squad from 2021, not to be confused with just Suicide Squad, which I think came out in like 2016. The original got such poor ratings and everybody seemed to universally dislike it kind of, so I really just took a hard pass from that movie. This movie is about criminals who are in jail, like famous criminals from I think the DC universe, and they get approached like, hey, if you go on this, essentially like a suicide mission, uh, and you if you win or succeed then you get to be free that's kind of like the initial synopsis with this movie but I felt like they expected you to see the first movie because they barely even talk about anything like that at all there's very little story or things happening it's more just kind of like random action kind of scenes so let's jump into the pros of this movie the pros is that I found it to be pretty blunt. I felt like every character was really going for it. There was nothing held back. I actually felt like they were even more blunt than I expected them to be, which I actually like. I don't really like movies where there's almost like this PG like aura around everything or where you could feel people are kind of holding back. I didn't get that in this movie. They had some inventive kills. It, it is pretty aggressive and there are a couple like carnage candy style moments here. I really like that it was R-rated, you know, it just makes things just so much more enjoyable. This movie's kind of like a buffet of actors, abilities, colors, you know, that's what I kind of felt like with the whole movie. You're just, you have all this on the screen and not very much is specifically happening and there's not that much of a good story, but if you want really flashy explosions and colors and, and high tier actors, that's pretty much what's going on the whole movie. It's very colorful, it's very, it's just a kind of like a buffet of a bunch of different things to look at. But anyways guys, that's been my pros of Suicide Squad. Let's jump into the cons of this movie. The cons is that I really wasn't invested in just about anything in this movie. I don't really need movies to have a specific story, but I just kind of felt like I don't know why we're doing what we're doing. That's kind of the main feeling I got most of this movie. I guess you could say, like I was saying, oh, you know, they're on a suicide mission and that's, I guess, what's going on, but there's just so little you know, reasoning behind why anything gets done. It just feels like people are just randomly doing things for two hours. I just really wasn't invested in almost anything going on. There was no interesting climax. There was no, I just really wasn't, you know, there was almost no story to me. And there was a story, like I could tell you what their story was supposed to be, but I just didn't feel in, you know, in any story with this movie. Suicide Squad, they're almost kind of like losers, except for the main black character, which I actually was probably the only character that I did like, but all the other characters in here are just kind of like losers. And even though they might act like they're not losers, they just all have this loser vibe. So it's kind of hard to get in involved with what they're doing because you just kind of feel like, oh man, these guys are just losers. There's nothing admirable about any of them. There's nothing I would want to copy about any of them, except for like, again, like the main character. So they have like a boss in this movie, and I guess it's like the starfish boss. And I guess this was like a real boss in the comics, so I do appreciate that. But it was just kind of like, like what am I watching? Like the, there's a big killer starfish. For me, I just wasn't on board. They have a lot of quick, meaningless deaths in this movie. I actually don't mind quick, meaningless deaths or quick deaths because it kind of gives it something unexpected and a little jarring, kind of like wakes you up a little bit. But there's so many deaths in this movie that were just kind of like pointless, like it would have been nice if there was a reason behind all this happening, not just, oh, ha ha, he died, he died like that, ha ha, ha ha. That's kind of like what I felt in this movie. This was just my personal opinion. I think a lot of people liked this movie, surprisingly. If you like it, I would be very interested to see what you liked about it. Maybe I could kind of go in with a different mindset. I expected some kind of story here, some sort of story arc for me personally, and I didn't feel anything. If I were to say own, stream, or pass, I would say for me personally, pass, because there was just really nothing for me in this movie. There was really nothing that I really too much enjoyed about this movie. I don't know why it was rated so highly and I almost want to watch the first Suicide Squad, which was so hated because I'm like, you know, maybe I'm the opposite. Maybe I like the first one and I don't like this one. I'm not too sure because everyone seemed to not like that one, but they like this one, so. 
Anyways, guys, that's been my review of Suicide Squad. I'm going to have to give it a hard pass. What do you think? Should, you, should people stream it? Should people own it? Is it a great movie? Is it a bad movie? I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.